Okay, we're here at the Salt Lake City Model Airport for maiden flight of my Taro X6 copter. It's ridiculously huge. People might ask, why would you want one that big? And why wouldn't you want one that big? It's got 18 inch props. The motors are 5010. 274 kV motors, the ones from uh, Multistar. It's got a HERE GPS, a Pixhawk 2.1 flight controller, and the little circuit board there in front is the brains from a 3DR Solo copter, which uh, and I'll be using the uh, 3DR Solo controller right there and a little tablet uh, operating the Solex ground control station um, this setup here is flown a couple of times before uh, normally you'd want to fly one of these things for the first time using a conventional radio and telemetry radios and everything but I know the Pixhawk works well I know the flight controller works well the the um, the brain, the GPS, and the uh, and the handheld, you know, the, the controller works works fine. So I'm gonna just fly this thing as is. Like I said, there's 18 inch propellers. I go around each one, make sure we're set up properly. This one will rotate counterclockwise. As you can see, I've got the hopefully the correct prop on there. This one will spin clockwise towards the inside there like that. I'm using a 10,000 milliamp battery on this thing. Retractable legs are not operating here for the first time for the first flight, not until I get really confident. And I get confused flying a hex, so I attach these carbon fiber arrows to the legs to help me kind of point the, the front towards the front of the copter. Um, all right, I'm gonna go get set up on the flight line out there, and we'll restart and spin up the propellers and make sure they're all spinning the right way. Okay, we're here. Again on the flight line this time with this ridiculously big Taro X6 maiden flight. This thing's never been in the air before. Um, got 20 GP, 20 satellites. Um, I'm gonna in just a minute. I'm gonna arm the motor and uh, make sure visually that everything is spinning in the right direction. All right, it's about time to spin everything up for the first time ever. We're gonna um, just gonna go over and verify the propellers are turning the right way. Might do that a couple of times just to make sure. On video, they'll probably look like they're spinning backwards, but um, that's just a trick of the shutter. So let's see what happens. Okay, it's looking like all the propellers and motors are spinning the right way, or motors are spinning the right way, propellers are on the right way. Um, she's about ready for first flight, I think. Of course, I'm absolutely terrified, as usual. Let me just angle this up a little bit so that we can get more of the sky in there. And I'm just going to go for it. That thing is absolutely stable. Let's go forward a little bit. Let's 
see how she does in roll. Really stable. A little twitchy when it stops. I'll tune that out later. Battery 100%. Rolling Altitude back the other way. Little throttle. Forward pitch. Back pitch. Battery 100%. Altitude 26.35 feet. Speed 1.1 1 .1 miles per hour. Let's try yaw. Travel 149.44 feet. Heading 305 degrees. Signal 48%. Not recording. Super stable, quiet. Oh man, what a nice flyer. Kind of disturbs me that Solex is saying that my battery is 100%. That's obviously not correct. See how stable that hover is. I'm very happy with that. I'm gonna bring it in for landing because I don't trust that battery reading. Still showing 100% battery, which is obviously not right. Bring it in a little closer. Touch it right down. Well, doesn't get much better than that. All right, I've moved over to the helicopter pad at the Salt Lake Model Airport. I've got a couple of airplane flyers over there, and I guess technically I'm not supposed to be on the, that part of the flight line uh, flying, so this is a much more open space, and we'll leave the airplane flyers to over there. The GPS, everything's ready to go, so I'm going to throttle up. We'll take off and go out a little ways, and I'll switch to... Uh, manual flight mode and position hold flight mode and um, see how she does and um, then try return to launch all right so here spin up the motors Armed. and launch just do a good old loiter hover Not bad. Let's just do, we'll do pitch and roll and yaw real quick again. All right, I'm gonna try it in position hold. Position hold. That's position hold mode. And go and let's try stabilize mode. Which is manual. Flying manual. Battery 100%. Altitude drifting a little bit. Drifting a little bit with the wind. A super stable hover. Now when this thing goes into return to launch, it should climb to about... I'm going to take it over here a little bit just to give it a little truer test. When... Um, goes into return to launch it should rise up to about 100 feet and hopefully come back right where it was so if you return to home so there it goes climbing to climbing to about 100 feet can't see it on the video but now it's making its way back over the starting point Heading 344 degrees. You can hear Signal it coming down. 
and it looks so far like it's right on target. Still saying battery 100%, but 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 the battery monitor on Solex is saying 22 volts. So I think it's time to back to fly and let's bring it on down.